What's up, film fans? It's Epic Film Guy Nick here, and we are at Epic Film Guy Studios. And I'm here for a new segment that I'm going to be calling Nick's Quick Rants. And this is just going to be a quick video segment. I'm going to try to do these pretty regularly. Me spouting off about whatever topic pops into my head, whatever's bugging me about the world of film, or whatever news I really feel like talking about. And today, I'm going to talk about Marvel and other films too, but mostly the Marvel films and villains. And how utterly disappointing, uh, for the most part, the Marvel films have been in creating, you know, really compelling villain characters. Now, think about the heroes in the Marvel films, or even, uh, you know, Garfield's Spider-Man in the Amazing Spider-Man films, and the great character development that you get out of those characters, the amazing character arts, the range, the depth of emotion, and just the investment that you as an audience member have in those characters because the film spends so much time exploring them. And then think about the villains. Most of those films, Loki aside from the first Thor, Hiddleston is such a commanding screen presence. He's so great on screen and, of course, directed by the great Ken Branagh, great character director in the first Thor film. That's why it's my favorite Marvel film still to date, because of the great character work in that film. But aside from that, what do you get? You get cardboard cutouts. You get stereotypical evil characters, cackling, brooding, dressed in black, you know, lit dark, fire, you know, all these different just bland stereotypes that just paint these characters as you know, bad guys. You don't ever learn anything about them. You get very, very minute exposition. You get the smallest detail that you need to force the plot along and jump back to another long scene or long scenes with the hero. You know, and I'm sorry, that feels criminal to me. And that's why I'm kind of harsh on these Marvel films. That's why I'm really not loving the Marvel formula. And that's why the more films I see that take that formula, Amazing Spider-Man 2 included with Electro, decent character arc to start, and then pfft, completely crap. He turns into Electro, and he disappears from the film for a half an hour, shows up at Ravencroft, and, you know, has this battle with Spider-Man and then disappears again. You know, Dane DeHaan's Goblin, forced into the Goblin suit, immediately in the film. Uh, you get the Dark Elves in Thor The Dark World, terrible. Just terrible. At the very beginning of the film, you get a brief prologue, and that's all you ever learn about the Dark Elves. Except for, you know, Christopher Eccleston, you know, a couple of lines in the flick. You know, stuff like that. It, it's really, really become kind of heartbreaking to me, because I'm a big lover of film, and I'm a big lover of character. I drive that point home in every review that I make, and in everything that I write about film. Character is the most important thing in a film. Without compelling rich characters, you can't invest an audience in the world. And if these studios and if these writers and if these directors would take the time to create villains that are even half as compelling and just with the depth and with the character work that these heroes get in these films, we'd have much better films. Instead, we get a Marvel Phase 2 that has mostly just been sleepwalking. Okay, Ter Ronan the Accuser, terrible. Dark Elves, terrible. Don't even get me started on the Mandarin nonsense in Iron Man 3 with Guy Pearce hamming it up as yet another just empty suit fighting against Tony Stark. Uh, you know, a Bucky in his four minutes of screen time in The Winter Soldier. I mean, come on. I mean, give these villains a little time. Take an extra five to ten minutes of your runtime and really write some scenes that really get into these characters. I don't need to sympathize with them. They don't need to be tragic villains like, you know, Doc Ock and Spidey 2, uh, Harvey Dent and the Dark Knight. They don't all have to be tragic villains, great villains though that they were, but spend some time. Let us as an audience get to feel those villains out as much as you let us get into those heroes, as much as you let us invest into those heroes because it makes the climax of those films, it makes the resolution so much more satisfying. It just, it makes for an incredible product all the way around, and it would, it would really break this stuff out of its shell. I really hope that Age of Ultron and Batman and Superman, I really hope that they don't skimp on the development for the villains and they really buck the trend, because it's kind of been disappointing lately. Uh, you know, Days of Future Past, of course, you got great arcs from Mystique and Magneto in that film, which was great, which was great, but character development-wise, that film left a lot to be desired as well. So again, Epic Film Guy Nick, this is Nick's Quick Rants, and thanks for watching, guys. Again, 
Follow us on Twitter at Epic Film Guys, Facebook.com slash Epic Film Guys. We love you. Thank you very much for all of your support. Have a great night.